welcome to this Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at is DrumKit Designer, the powerful new addition to Logic 10 that allows users to take an algorithm that combines recordings of actual human drummers playing actual drums that have been tracked in various studios and various rooms across the world and in that algorithm allowing you to then place that into your track as if you have a real drummer playing with your session. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these kinds of sounds and performances would have cost uh, all combined hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars uh, in the past to have this access and now the power of that is literally at the touch of a laptop button. So let's go over to the, just the basic operation of this. Um, just to start, um, we're going to open our menu and you'll see there's arrangement here. What we're going to do is just populate this the session here with a song arrangement. Now, a song is made up of various things, but just a basic overview, we could have an intro, verse, chorus, perhaps a bridge and uh, or an outro. And, and today what we, we're going to do is just create a basic um, verse, chorus, very short. So if I hit the plus button, I get a uh, eight bar verse. Let's shorten this down to four bars. And I'm going to click again. You'll see it's going to give me a chorus. And I'm going to bring that back and just create two four bar sections. Now if you need to change the name you'll see I get a little menu if I go to the right of the title and I can choose any of those. Okay so we've got this. Now what Drum Kit Designer will do is automatically populate these session or these sections of your session uh, with the appropriate drum sound. So let's check this out. You go up to the track section and menu you're going to click New Tracks. That's going to give you the option of selecting the type of track you want. You'll see we've got Software Instrument MIDI, uh, great software instrument sounds in Logic, audio, which would just be typical recording, and then drummer. So let's choose drummer. And now what you'll see is it's given me this guy, Kyle. Now, in each category, you'll see there's four different genres. There's alternative, songwriter, R&B. There's all these different personalities. So if you click on one of them, that gives you their um, gives you their title and kind of what they play. So, um, like Aiden is restrained, simple indie rocks, indie rock beats on a natural kit. If I go to rock, Kyle, straightforward rock beats on a natural versatile kit. Now, let's just hear what this sounds like. And what you're going to hear is this actual person that was then programmed into this. Um, and there are two uh, kind of distinct settings going on. The first is the sound of the drums, which I'll show you in a second. And then the second is the performance from the uh, programmed uh, algorithm and how it's reading uh, against the arrangement of the session. Let's, let's just listen and you can hear what I'm talking about. Let me turn this up. Okay, now that clicking sound here is the metronome, so I'm going to actually turn that off. Now, one thing to note is in the past, if I had a musician that wanted to record, just like an acoustic guitar player or something, um, that's all you'd hear is this. If you, you, know, you had to record in time, you'll see our BPM, or the beats per minute, is 120. That's a pretty standard amount. In fact, Logic will default to that. Um, so the time has to lock in if you're going to add instruments. But what's interesting is, in the past, this is all that they would get. It's just this click pretty boring right well now you can actually program in a drummer and instead of that they can play to this still in time but mimicking playing with an actual drummer okay so what's going on here well I told you there were two things that you can adjust primarily and for this lesson that's all I want to look at so let's look at the first which is the actual sound of the drums he's playing a SoCal kit you'll see there's all kinds of kits that you can get into uh, I've got Portland kit, and I can change the kick out. Um, okay, let's go with that. Got a snare, and you can see there's all kinds of adjustments. I can actually undampen that or tune it down. Okay, let's go with that. It's kind of funky. So that's the sound of his kit, and then on each section, I can actually adjust how loud or soft he plays as well as how simple and complex. 
Now check this out. Let's just, for the moment, I'm going to create a cycle. I just hit the letter C on the keyboard. So it's going to cycle it so you can hear how it's going to adjust. And I'm just going to move this in real time. Listen how his performance changes. Let's start soft and simple and move up. Okay. Now here's simple loud. Let's go to loud complex. And you can see as I do this, the actual waveform is changing. It's just adjusting. Let's go to complex soft. Pretty cool. So just as a demonstration to finish up, between these sections, Drum Kit Designer will actually create a seamless drum fill between these sections so it doesn't feel like it's skipping um, between sections. So let's just do this. Let's program. Um, let's go verse, soft and simple. And let's go chorus, complex and loud. And actually, you know what? Let's do this too. If you go over here, I can actually change the amount of fill. So let's do more fills in the chorus less fills in the verse. You can actually swing it. What that means is that's actually how human it, it, it's, uh, the performance is going to come off. So sw swing a little more in the verse. And let's add some shaker in the verse. And let's add tambourine in the chorus. Take us out of cycle. So I'm going to hit C. Actually, just to show you, you can just click there. And let's listen. And again, you can see verse. Scroll through here. And see the adjustments I've made and chorus. Okay, let's take a listen. Now here's what's cool. I like Kyle, like his drum set, but you know, when we were over an alternative, I kind of am interested to hear what Aiden can do. So let's have, let's replace with a virtual different person, virtual drummer. You can see it's going to say here, hey, if you do that, basically it's going to change the settings, which we want, because he's going to sound different, play different. You'll notice that now Aiden is up, and let's take a listen how he sounds different. Different drum kit, different player.